think of all my nice hair algae growth then. Long, long hair algae. He won't even come out, he's so ashamed. What to do? Triggerfish will eat crabs and snails and any kind of clean up crew you put in. I haven't tried them out. I don't think I'll go to the expense. So, algae eating fish is what I need. First of all, I got a brown barred goby who is hiding somewhere, he'll show up later, and a jewel blenny. Um, followed a few weeks later by this yellow fox face. Fox faces are well known for algae eating and also some will eat bubble algae but I think there was too much for him to do anything about. However, he continued to help clear up the algae. At the same time, I added an adult chevron tang. This is him, left to right, this big brown one. And they're a bristle tooth tang, well known for their algae eating abilities. Finally, a little convict tang. And all he did was eat all day. He just ate and ate at those rocks. And we fast forward a few weeks and look at it. Nice and clean, not, not scraped absolutely clean but it's very nice these two eat no algae but they they have entertainment value I was very pleased that um, they cleaned up these rocks so well I, I didn't I didn't think it was going to work but I think with, with the bubble algae as as the rocks are grazed constantly the new bubble algae that grows it will just get eaten away won't get hold. You can see there's hardly any of it now. Got a few little bits of frags but because there's large greedy fish the nutrient levels are still high. I've got a refugium but I think I need one of those loud pink lights to uh, get the chato growing. So it's not doing very well. Now, I don't know what this is all about. I was in there rescuing something that they knocked over and they were wanting me to scratch them, I think. Not quite a good idea because it will just remove the slime coat off their scales. It's just <laughs> very strange. See how they pull their pectoral fin forward? <laughs> I don't know what this is all about. Really, I don't. They are the most entertaining fish I've ever owned in all my years of keeping fish. They really are funny. They're also very peaceful towards uh, all the new inmates that they've had. Although they're big and bulky, they're, they're quite peaceful. If I ever want to catch them, I can just go in and grab them with the tweezers. And fast forward another few weeks, and what do we have here? This is an Australian Harlequin tusk fish with blue teeth. Absolutely striking colours. Always wanted one. You can see the convict tang has fattened up. The fox face has grown. A reflection is the reef on the other side of the room, if you were wondering what that was. The toad stool is growing. The Kenya trees are spreading fast and furiously, but it's not too bad. Now, 
This is an Ehi feeding station. It's designed to put the auto feed on the top. You can also use it just for putting your pellets in, stops them floating away down into the sun. Really great idea. What I didn't mention about the brown barred goby, which is that little brown one at the bottom on the right. He's also a sand sifter, so he keeps the sand quite clean, but he does, he does drop it all over the rocks, so if you've got one in a full, full scale um, reef tank, you wouldn't be very happy about all that sand being spread around. It doesn't really matter in this tank. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.